what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and today we're going to be recapping the Winnipeg Jets versus Nashville Predators game what a mess this one was you know it's not going to start off that way we got a lot of fun to look at actually at the beginning uh, but we're going to get into the meat and potatoes uh, and you know more so why I'm a little bit upset uh, later on in the video but we're gonna you know start off here in the first period the first did not start off well as the Jets were actually outshot five to nothing and they had already conceded a power play Nashville did not score on it but shortly after after Tommy Novak would put them up one to nothing. Shortly after that, however, the Jets got their own chance on the power play. Morrissey flips it over to Shifley. Shifley flips it down low to Velarde, and the most disgusting goal of the year for the Jets was scored. Look at this. Flies it over to Shifley, down low to Velarde, between the legs, upstairs, yuck. Guy's gross, down low, in his, I guess you can call it Velarde's office, just, you know, the blue paint. Look at him, look at him, bang. That's gross. So shout out to Velarde getting the Jets back into this one, flipping the momentum completely. And now we've got a 1-1 hockey game. Not even two minutes later, Nashville trying to leave the zone, gets his pocket picked, flips it over to Shifley, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. Shifley puts it home. 2 to 1 Winnipeg. They take the lead. And from there, you know, I was feeling I was feeling pretty good. Momentum seemed to be, you know, fully in the Jets' favor. Nothing really was going on. And it just continued. I want you guys to watch Dylan DeMello on this play here, right? Okay. He's gonna come up, stop a goal from going in. The Jets are gonna go the other way. Baron's gonna come down the left wing. He's gonna drop it in. So they've got it deep now. Ayafalo is going to flip it back to Baron, and Baron's going to flip it to DeMello. So DeMello stops the scoring chance, and then DeMello puts one up top. Beautiful goal. The Jets go up 3-1 to one against the Nashville Predators, who they have really, really, really struggled against this season. But it really just seems like everything they're shooting is going in the net. It's 3-1 Winnipeg, and that's how the first period would end. So the Jets begin the second period up 3-1 to one on the Predators. And they were outshot that first period, 14 to 11. Uh, the Jets definitely had the better scoring chances, but 14 shots by Nashville. You know, they shoot the puck a lot. In the second period, I expect the Jets to, you know, continue to try to play more in the offensive zone and don't let Nashville shoot the puck as much, right? Don't let them, you know, get those scoring chances, those rebounds. Well, they completely did not do that. 22 to 5 were the shots on goal in the second period. The Predators were swarming, were not able to score, however, because of Connor Hellebuck. That guy was standing on his head, had a statement game, and thank God he did, because if he didn't, this game legitimately could have been, you know, eight to three final for Nashville. I don't know what went on in that second period. 22 shots should never happen, first of all, but it was just like, oh my God. I can't even believe the, the boneheaded mistakes by Neil Pionk, Logan Stanley, uh, a lot of the forward core too I mean it just not able to win puck battles like I don't know it was just weird it just seemed like they they did not win a puck battle the entire period and it showed in the shot department but luckily they got incredibly lucky and uh, did not concede a goal so it's three to one heading into the third Spencer Stastny would actually score to make it three to two as you know nothing really changed the Predators foot on the throttle they're not letting up they want to get into this game if they get a point they clinch a wild card spot three to two nashville and just over two minutes later after making it three two ryan o'reilly is going to snap it home to beat connor hellebuck on shot number 44 of the game for nashville and it is now a tie game in a game where you know truthfully the jets had no business being in never mind leading tie game and uh, I don't know Jets looked like they had nothing bonus kept trying to change the line so he put together the Connor Shifley Velarde line again uh, they really did nothing I mean we saw all sorts of lines it was really weird it was like when Dave Lowry was the head coach of the Winnipeg Jets of uh, you know the interim coach there for Paul Maurice and he just you know would fly out random players just making up lines on the fly that's really what it felt like Rick Bonus was doing in this one he did not have an answer for anything the defense pairings Pionk Stanley those guys were horrendous Terrific. And uh, that's a big reason why Nashville really teed off on Winnipeg today. Um, you know, just uh, totally pulled out the line blender and uh, bonus and the Jets really just didn't have an answer. The thing that annoyed me the most, though, about this game was the last 10 minutes after the Ryan O'Reilly goal to the overtime. The Jets are getting shelled. 3-3 game now. How do you respond? Rick Bonus basically benched Nick Ehlers and Cole Perfetti and said, you know what, we're not going to try to win this game, we're going to just try to get to overtime, and just went uber defensively on his lines. And, oh my god, I just, 
I just can't believe it. Why wouldn't you try to win this game in regulation? Why would you just try to, you know, hold on and get to overtime and, you know, maybe things will change there? I just don't understand the logic there. You should be trying to win the hockey game in regulation instead of, you know, playing defense for 10 minutes to get to overtime. The lines that they had, it was like Shifley, Ayafalo, and Nemestikov very clearly trying to just say, okay, you know what, we're going to lock it down. Let's just try to avoid as much high danger chances as we can and, uh, you know, get to overtime. And the plan worked. I mean, getting to overtime work no problem i just i can't respect it it's uh you know that's not how you're gonna win in the playoffs and if you're playing nathan mckinnon kale mccarr miko rantanen in the first round which it looks like the jets are going to be doing um you know good luck because that that is a much different monster than the nashville predators but anyway, we get to overtime, and, you know, after Mark Scheifele nearly cost the Jets the game with a turnover, uh, puck misses wide, thank God. Connor sends it over to Scheifele. They go over on a two-on-one. Don't know how Connor found all this energy, but he goes and he scores. End of his shift. He was out there a long time, and he saves the Jets' bacon today and, uh, you know, steals two points, really. I can't believe the Jets won this game. This was be one of the worst games of the year hands down for them especially in that middle frame and uh the first you know 10 15 minutes of the third there it was not a good game uh this one annoyed me a lot today uh just the way that bonus handled things just the way that you know the lines were deployed the defense pairings were deployed uh it just really felt like the jets got out coached in this one and uh, didn't feel like they had any answers for a team and the national predators who you know they are a very good team we know that but it's like there's there's not a lot of star power there and it uh, man it really just pissed me off in this one it worries me a little bit because you know heading into the playoffs how are the Jets gonna corral a guy like, like McKinnon like McCarr like Miko Rantanen right so I really hope that uh, you know they do a better job against those teams we're gonna be seeing Dallas and Colorado right away much different monster than the Predators so we'll see how the Jets fare they're only two points behind Colorado trying to catch them for you know that home ice advantage in the central in the first round uh, but that's pretty much all the Jets are playing for at this point looks like they're gonna be playing Colorado in the first round barring a miracle big ol' shining star of the game should be no surprise Connor Hellebuck congratulations 48 shots against 45 saves with a point nine three eight save percentage good job connor uh thank you for the two points that's all connor hellebuck ladies and gentlemen statement game from him um yeah what a tire fire this game was but hellebuck just like he has been doing pretty much his entire career bailing out the jets and getting them two points that they absolutely did not deserve i don't really know what else to say in this one i mean i don't you know, I think I said it all. I'm just frustrated. That, that was a really frustrating game to watch. I know it's only one game. They played really good in their last three. Uh, I just hope Bonus doesn't go crazy with the lines again, man. We know it works. Let's just go back to them. Let's try it again. If it doesn't work, then look, we can look at changing them. But let's not go back to what we know doesn't work. That's that's the part that's really scaring me. I'm really scared that he's just going to come back the next day and be like, okay, you know what, let's go back to Connor Shifley, Velarde, and then we get to deal with that for another, you know, four or five games, and, you know, oh, I wonder why it w isn't working, right? Like, ugh, frustrating. That six-game losing streak was a big part of, you know, what was going on. The lines were just bad. They weren't working, and bonus didn't change them, so... You know, we changed them, good stuff happened, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens going forward here. That's all I got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the game. Do you, do you feel as strongly as me that this was a disappointment? I want to know, uh, you know, down below. Let me know, but, uh, whew, that was a rough one. Uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Go Jets, go. Bye-bye.